this is going to cover one of our FX nodes. Go to the schematic, go to the FX tree, you just right click, go to add FX, go to tunes level, and go to color blending. Be taking a look at the color blending node. Um, now, what the color blending node is for is to blend between the styles which you're using in a drawing, work either on the vector level or the tunes raster level. It will not work on a standard raster level. So we're just going to make a tunes vector level and we're going to make a tunes raster level. And just go with the raster level first and I'll make a drawing. And I'm going to add two color palettes. I could do it with more than two color palettes, um, but I'm just going to do two color palettes for this example. And just give two colors which are different enough for you to notice the effect. And then I'm going to do something similar with the vector level. I'm just going to use a circle this time. Over the width of this line a little bit. And then I'm going to add a couple of colors again. And then I'm just going to make sure that that line is black. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to split this circle in half with a line. Just going to use the tape tool to make sure it's sealed and then I'm just going to paint it with these two colors. Just make sure this line is also color and I'll just move this line to the back. I'm going to do something similar with the tunes raster level. Just going to pick one of these colors, separate it, and then fill the object. That's the basis for how this effect will work. Basically you're going to blend all of the colors in these layers and it's going to blend the colors based off the styles. So if we click on the node you'll see that there are color indexes one two three, there's intensity, there's smoothness, and there's no blending over colors. The color indices are these numbers here, the zero, one, two, three, those you will use to define which numbers you have. And just going to make two copies of this node. And we will just do a render. As you'll see, it gets blurry around the edges. In order to make the blur less horrible, we're just going to smooth it out. We'll start with the tuned raster level. And I'm just going to raise the smoothness to a high value. As you'll see, it smooths out a lot, but it's a very, very small blur. Very often we want a blur which is greater than this. 
So in this case, I'll go to the intensity and I'll raise that to a high value as well. And as you can see, it blurs over the entire object. And the blur in this gray case is great enough that it blurs over the outline. So if I remove the index for the outline, you'll see that the black line returns. Now, no blending over colors will mean that where it meets one of these lines, you can lose the blending. So if I put back one, two, and three, you'll see that it will not blend over the line, the outline, but where it meets that line, you will also have areas of color which are not blended. You usually have to have very specific use cases in which you're going to use this if you're going to work with no blending over colors. This will give you a bit of an idea of how the blending is used and how you can get this kind of effect from it. There are other ways to do blending, um, which I want to at some point do videos on, depending on how much time I've got. And hopefully this will have been useful. Thank you.